Hey everybody, it's Juice Boy from Juices 101. Today uh, I want to talk about something very important. Uh, a lot of people tell me, you know, I can't go juicing, I can't go on a juice cleanse because I need protein. Well, let me break you down the news. When you do a juice cleanse, there is a lot of protein involved. But you need to know a few things. You know, if you go on one of those funny cleanses, you know, that you just drink lemonade all day, then you wouldn't have protein. But when you do a real juice cleanse, there is a lot of protein involved and you can keep working out, you can keep doing anything you want while the cleanse. Uh, one method, one trend that I really love that is a new trend in juicing is incorporating nut milks into the cleanse in the way to get the protein. And I think it's a fantastic way, natural way to get protein into your body. Uh, uh, I, I want to talk about one equipment that you'll need in order to do that. Like, you know, and usually we're using the regular juicer, but in order to make nut milk you're actually going to need a blender. Now, this is where a lot of people tell me, no, I don't want to invest in an expensive blender, you know, and I, I normally use the Vitamix that I have here, but today I want to show you how you can use the most cheapest blender out there to make the most amazing cashew nut milks in your own home, so there are no excuses. Let's get right down to it. So the blender is very simple, it builds, this is the blades that chop the nuts, this is kind of like a rubber thing that goes on top of this, so all close down perfect this is the base of the blender so it goes like that here you see how simple it is to assemble it now you don't need to take it apart every time you clean the blender I just took it apart so you guys can see it right now and this is all the blender is this is the motor and this is the top of the blender that's all I'm gonna put it right on here now for the cashew nut milk that we are making today you will need around four ounces of cashews which we have right here uh, I would like to add some cinnamon and some vanilla and some bee pollen. You can add some protein powder as you see in a few minutes. Uh, but the basic ingredient is cashew nut. I'm using four ounces. If you're not sure, use one of those kitchen scales to measure it. It's really simple. Uh, we have around four ounces here, so I'm just going to put them in the blender. Basically, all the dry ingredients goes first. You know, I'm going to put a dash of cinnamon inside. I like a lot of cinnamon. Uh, some. Vanilla, if you have vanilla bean, just chop a little bit of vanilla bean inside, it would be great. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit of bee pollen to my cashew nut milk today. It adds a really nice layer of flavor to it. It's great for your immune system and everything, but it also adds a nice color and a nice flavor to the cashew nut milk. So I'm going to add one nice spoon of that here. Uh, I love that stuff. And if you want to, you can also add some protein powder. If you have organic protein powder, that's perfectly allowed when you're on a cleanse, when you know when you're juicing. This is a great way to get your protein. This is also a great one of those great drinks that you can drink after a workout uh, or you know as a breakfast replacement. It's really really great. So basically, around one serving as much as you want. Use organic protein powder, of course. Don't use any of this crap you see out there. Uh, so make sure you get the right stuff for your body. Uh, you can skip the protein powder, you can include it, it depends on how much protein you want to get. The cashew nuts already has a lot of protein inside of them, so you might not need a lot. You see I didn't put a full serving in it. So that's pretty much it. We're going to give the Now you see this all result to a really nice powder here. Some people like it more chunky, some people like it less chunky, so find the, the right formula for yourself. Uh, to that we are going to sweeten it right now with around like you know a tablespoon of agave nectar. I like my cashew nut milk kind of sweet. Uh, and we're going to add around 500 milliliter, that's like almost, it's almost 600, this is almost 20 ounces of uh, water. Filtered water, preferred of course. We have that in here and we're just going to give it another mix. And here we are, we have our cashew nut milk ready for drinking. Now you see we didn't need to use a Vitamix, we didn't need to use any of those fancy blenders that you can see here on this page. Not there, those are great blenders, but I just wanted to show you that even with the cheapest blender, 
you can still get great results. So there are no excuses. You know, if people say, I can't be juicing because I need protein, I can't be juicing because I need a blender, here it is. You know, you get the cheapest blender out there and you can still be juicing. There is nothing that can stop you from juicing. Oh, this is amazing. This is such a great drink. Keep on juicing.